So hey, Dr. Barr, how are you? Hey, how are you, Mike? Good, good, good. Hey, can you tell me a little bit? I've heard about some peptides for, you know, helping me get an erection. Oh, but, so yes, peptides for erection. That's yes. a good topic here. Yeah. Um, I can I can certainly recommend like two peptides right now for erections for men, and they're pretty well kind of um, study, one of them is FDA approved, it's the PT-141, yeah. uh, there's clinical studies on it. It was FDA approved in the 90s, however for men, for um, kind of libido dysfunction, you know, that um, females sometimes have during the menopausal period, but actually it's used off-label for men too. Okay. So it could be used really well for psychologic ED, sort of, if you think about it. So it happens a lot that men start thinking, oh my God, I'm not having a good erection, they get psychologically stressed. Next time they're having a date, immediately it happens again. So I tell people if it happens once, that's not ED, right? Yeah. But if you start thinking about it, that's a cycle, and that's called psychologic ED almost, so it's all in the brain, yes, it's all in the brain. So PT-141 is awesome for that. So it increases your libido, yeah. and also increases your erection. So it's really great for date nights, because you know what, when you take alcohol, yeah. It's not going to be affected, so it's good for date night. Oh, okay, good. Versus Viagra, right? Like, yeah. or, but you know, generally, like erections are not good when you're having too much alcohol. You know that, right? Yeah. So you guys, when you're having a date night, do not have too much tequila, right? Okay. <laughs> so I would say PT one forty one is a really awesome one. The only caveat is yeah. you got to be careful with the dose. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, does it come in a pill? Does it come, how, how, do, how do I take it? So it's a prescription, again. Okay. So I know people can go buy stuff online or from their buddy in the gym. Yeah. So it is a prescription, okay. all right? So it comes not in a pill, it comes in as an injection. Okay. So some people would do the, you know, the skinny, teeny needle that goes into the fat. Okay. You know, but people doing it for weight loss now. So I don't have to put it down there? Nope, that's okay. a trimix. That's a different one. Okay, okay. we're going to talk about I've heard about that, after. yeah. Yeah, but this one is really cool because it's very tiny. You don't feel it. Okay. It's very small in the fat. However, you do it like about an hour, 40 minutes before you plan having fun. Okay. So um, before you go out on a date, you want to do that. Yeah. You don't want to do it later. Like if your guys are hanging at home and you do it like maybe 9 o'clock, guess what? Uh -huh. Boner is going to happen midnight and she's gone to bed and she's like hey wake up so i would say i would definitely uh experiment with it okay. when i have my patients i say let's do this do it uh inject it maybe at six o'clock and see yeah, how yeah. things are so it's not happening at midnight so it, it changes between one person and the other so the first few times you try it that way However, for people who are afraid of needles, there is also a spray. We can sometimes oh, do a spray okay. compound in the pharmacy. Some guys don't like sprays. I just like, I had my last patient, like, I don't like the spray, so he's gonna go for shots. Okay, okay, so it comes in a spray and a, and a shot. Yeah, compound. And you take it, not too late, so give it an hour, hour and 40 minutes. Everybody's different, so you test it out. You got yeah. it. Okay. And it can last up to four hours, four hours. Anything more than four hours, it's ER, you guys. This is called priapism, painful erections. So you must get a really Ow. long one. Yeah. Ooh, that so that's when you have to just make sure that you go to the ER if it takes too long, or sometimes mm -hmm. we give you something just in case you have it on the side to just uh, get it. it down. Got it. Yeah. It's all about the dose, right? It's all about the dose. So I like to start people at a lower dose, like one. And if they do not respond, then we go one and a half to uh, yeah. milligrams. But you don't want to start at the two milligrams and then you have a big, huge For five, six cucumber hours. that you yeah. don't need to do it. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> How often can you take it? How... You can take it once a day only. So if you plan to have two dates in one night, you can't have that. <laughs> So one a day, and you cannot have more than eight a, a month. Oh, eight a month, okay. So when we dispense it, we give like people like a warning, you cannot have it more than eight times a month. Got it. Um, it works on the brain, as I said, versus Viagra works on blood vessels. Yeah, yeah. blood flow, So right? it works yeah. on the brain. So brain center stimulates the receptors. It's a receptor that in the brain that actually creates the erections. Mm -hmm. It was a receptor that actually has two functions. Uh, another peptide, it's Milano Tam too, uh, that actually tans as well. So, <laughs> so you can get a tan and an erection if you wow. have Milano Tam. 
But if you do PT-141, then it's just an erection. You got it. You got it. Um, so what else can I use with it in terms of, like, is there any other peptides or anything else that yes. help with just my mood? Um, well, there's oxytocin is yeah, another peptide, which I love. About. It's the uh, orgasmic hormone. Mm -hmm. Increase those contractions, which is awesome. It actually increases the cuddling and bonding and good feeling. Um, I think oxytocin is a great one as well to combine with this. It makes you mellow and happy, increases like your dopamine, makes you feel good. Um, so I would say oxytocin is another good combination. With that, we can do a sublingual with oxytocin oh, okay. or an intranasal as well. So you can mm. pretend it's like a mint. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And you can give it to your partner because it works for both. Oh, okay. And it's the orgasmic hormone. I like yeah. it. The I love like hormone, it. also known as the love hormone. Yes. Yes. So I love that hormone because it's a co combination when you combine this one with your PT-141. Mm. These are two together. Now, if somebody's having issues with hormones, that's yeah. a different story. There's a third one that I like also for erections, which will interfere with testosterone. So this is called Kiss Peptin. It's Kiss Peptin. Kiss Peptin. Kiss Peptin was discovered for um, cancer research. Oh, okay. Interesting, right? The Kiss yeah. gene. And uh, it was actually found to cause a side effect, a bonus, boner, a bonus, bonus. boner. Like so it. basically, it was a cool thing to find, and then they decided that okay, we're going to use cisplatin. Uh, some people used before HCG. Okay. Remember that HCG people yeah. use that. So cisplatin works for fertility mm -hmm. and for erection at the same time, which means it works on sperm as well as testosterone levels. So testosterone is important to get the erection. Yeah. People who lose testosterone in the morning is the highest level. If they lose their morning erections, then this means that testosterone is low. That's the key for you guys to know that testosterone levels need to be checked and upped up. So basically- So you do all those tests beforehand? This of course. Check. Okay. Yeah. So this is the one you really need to do testing before, 100%, mm -hmm. because you wanna make sure that the levels are, you know, uh, if they're low, you can actually stimulate um, a man, and this is good for young men, oh, mostly okay. for young men. And yeah, ED can happen for you, and it's not only for grandpa, ED can happen yeah. everywhere, right? Yeah. So we're seeing younger people now with ED, and that's more of the, maybe PT-141 psychologically is awesome for them, mm -hmm. because that's, it's more psychologic. However, most of the older people, it would be vascular. Our blood vessels get yeah. older, that's you know more vascular. So kiss peptin is going to increase the hormones. That's a different route. A third thing for erections is hormones. Testosterone is an important one. Kiss peptin will work on the brain of hormones that will actually increase testosterone and increase sperm. And that's why it's a fertility hormone. So is, it, is that better than getting just testosterone shots? Or 100%. Is that, okay. The reason is for young people, you do not that's a big warning guys. If you're like 30, 40, and a buddy is telling you take testosterone to build muscle, be very, very careful. You're gonna have a problem with your sperm count. It's almost castration really, if you think about it. It's mm. really bad. You're suppressing your own body. It will not be able to produce testosterone. And also you're making the testicles make less sperm. Mm -hmm. So that is a problem. So those guys try to have babies later and there's no sperm. Yeah, because I'm seeing a lot out there, you know, testosterone shots and people giving them and yes. pushing it. So your clinic recommends trying everything else before uh, hormone treatments. I right? don't say recommending things before. I say you got to consult with a doctor that knows what they're doing. So you if you have a deficiency because you're not making testosterone, you want to know, is it a central problem? Is that then would be good to try to get that central problem fixed. If you had an injury and your testicles are never going to make testosterone anymore, yeah. you know, bikers, be careful. <laughs> or somebody had a major soccer injury or something. Or somebody had, you know, we used to have the mumps, you know, or something of that sort. So if you have a testicular injury or people who had post-surgical uh, prostatectomy, right? Okay, you yeah. know, prostate cancer. So these are the ones like, yeah, give testosterone. Usually we find it in older people. We test for all the hormones. I don't only test for testosterone. So I test for all the hormones that are precursors for testosterone mm -hmm. so I can make sure they're up. So if we give them a chance to improve, they'll make testosterone. 
got it. Instead of giving testosterone. Yeah, it and just seems like the easy way out for some of these other places, yeah. you know. You know, because like a lot of influencers out there talk about it, people in the gym sell it. Yeah. I'll tell you a funny trivia. I have to think uh, one guy who was here is into bodybuilding, and I was asking, how much are you taking? 200 twice a week, but I was like, my eyes. No, so I no. said, this is too much. You don't, you don't, you don't make that much. So be care, be careful. And I said, can I? How did you get it? He said, oh, my um, trainer gave it to me in the gym, and I looked at the bottle, and it's for horses. But he oh, didn't know no. that equine means testosterone for horses. But that's a very common one because he said, oh, it's like a 400 milligram per whatever. And I said, there's nothing pharmaceutical like that. It's not even available, and it was for horses. Oh no! <laughs> I don't tell you what I saw in his exam. No, no, no. <laughs> like horse organs and stuff. Right? <laughs> like it was weird. Well, it, I'm sure if you take that much testosterone, you're not going to be hung like a horse. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> no, actually, you're so right about that. Um, testicle strength. Mm -hmm. It's that. Yeah, they're pruny and shrunken. Oh wow! Yep. Yeah. So their manhood changes a little bit too. Oh, wow. That's the problem. Okay. Yeah. And they shoot blanks. Yeah. Yeah. Shooting blanks and teeny. You know. Not good. Yeah. Not good at all. <laughs> no. And you want your prostate to be healthy. That has another spot for fun. Mm, does it? Prostate? Yes. What's that all about? It's like the man's G spot. No. <laughs> yes. You guys have a G spot too. Get out. Yeah. It's on the prostate. So you okay. got to experiment with that. That's so yeah, you want your prostate to feel good and look yeah. good for the lady. Yes. Yeah. Most definitely. Yes. Yeah. Terrific. That's excellent news. I, I appreciate the advice. I sure. really, really. So do. two peptides, PT, uh, one forty one oxytocin is the great combo. It's pretty easy. If we're gonna do labs for men, then we want to check for kisspeptin. One of my other favorite peptides. There are other peptides, but this is like narrowing down to three so that yeah. we can go have lunch. 